Hello everyone, this is Lego My Lego 90 here. And uh I want to do a Poppy Playtime theory video. <clears throat> so the theory I'm about to do is to see if Huggy Wuggy is immortal. Well, I guess I'll break things down. You notice in the end of chapter one when Huggy Wuggy of course falls on to the to the railways from that crate drop. And you notice that blood splat going down on the pipes and stuff. <clears throat> or tubes. Now this got a lot of people thinking that he died. Well, you know, that could... That's probably likely to be false because Huggy Wuggy could still be alive somehow. I'm going to show you a video I'm going to break down that was uploaded. Now you can see in this recording feed that's uploaded on Mob Games' channel that says Restricted Disturbance 6-18-1992. You can see uh, there's some people in a vehicle searching for Huggy Wuggy. Now you can see in this part where it says experiment Huggy Wuggy exists the faculty or facility through an open delivery bay door in the production room. Two staff members witness the incident and hit the emergency alarm. You can see in this part Huggy Wuggy escapes the Playtime Co. factory. If I can show you. So yeah, you can see Huggy Wuggy zooming in right there where he's going to be on a rampage here. And you can see him right here running past that semi. And you can see at 10.30 p.m. all available security staff and vehicles are mustered and begin pursuit of Huggy Wuggy. By his time, Huggy Wuggy was estimated to have traveled a half a mile from the facility. Yep. And there's people already searching for him. And you can see a. Let me show you. Did you see that? You can see that Huggy Wuggy crashed the windshield of that truck that one of the maybe the authorities are driving. And the security team attempts to block and surround Huggy Wuggy at the railroad crossing. Three sounds of tranquilizer darts are fired. And Huggy Wuggy is hit once in the left leg. Huggy Wuggy managed to flee in the woods. So 
So here's some um, uh, where the security team are searching around the woods, you know, to look for Huggy Wuggy. And you can see Huggy Wuggy right there. So, so all these recording feeds could be somewhere after, maybe uh, at like maybe some lower ground, like I don't know, driveway or something. Maybe like when Huggy Wuggy's uh, wounds might have healed. I don't know, but yes, especially when you're when you gotta ponder the question if Huggy Wuggy is. Immortal. And here's a map showing. So you see that point in the, the red where the Playtime Co. factory is. You can see where Huggy Wuggy kind of traveling, you know. Bas basically wreaking havoc to all sorts of territories and stuff. Where the, where the security team's going to locate for him. Yeah, and stuff becoming a, unreliable. And here's this recording where a security... Yeah, someone on a security team like uh, is basically searching around the woods while recording with a flashlight. There's Huggy Wuggy right here, where he's popping out, you know. And there's a blur, you know, where so many people get killed by Huggy Wuggy. And some people going missing. So these are the dead and missing people from Huggy Wuggy. And there's the a signature of some sort for like a document or something or whatever it could be. So you can see Huggy Wuggy is standing in front of somebody's house. So you can see Huggy Wuggy is only after the security team, not after any citizens or anything like that. Now, as you can see, so that could possibly maybe be a tease for chapter 3 or whatever could be later on for the game. But yeah, Huggy Wuggy could likely very much make a return. I Sheep Rampage did say that he could be the antagonist for Chapter 3. But you know, maybe uh, Huggy Wuggy could likely, I don't know, make, maybe be uh, an antagonist for um, some later chapters for the game. Yeah, especially when you can notice that uh, Huggy Wuggy's been like going rogue, you know, wreaking havoc. Now, who knows what could what could happen with Huggy Wuggy later on in the game, but we know that he is meant to be a security guard, like what was solved in Project Playtime. Until when you notice he goes rogue later on in chapter one. Kind of like where Mommy Longlegs gone rogue in the end of chapter two with the hide and seek and stuff. And I know uh, Foxy Boo could likely be an enemy for chapter four. But I feel like Daisy could be the enemy for chapter three. 
But who knows? If you guys like what you saw, make sure you click like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Join my Discord fan server in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.